Despite two failures, NASA has come up with a new repair plan, still aiming to launch its massive moon rocket before the first orbital flight of SpaceX's Starship. How will they carry out the plan, and will it really help SLS get off the ground before Starship? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Fate has not been particularly kind to NASA's new mega rocket. The initial launch date, the end of 2016, was long gone. Countless delays meant the SLS rocket became almost overshadowed by its main competitor, the SpaceX Starship, which is a chrome-adorned retro-styled vehicle developed by Elon Musk's fan-favorite corporation. The SLS in its current configuration can generate 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust, which is enough to earn it the title of the world's most powerful rocket. According to SpaceX, the Starship is roughly twice as powerful as its competitor, and capable of generating around 17 million pounds of thrust, an amount that no future variant of the SLS could even come close to achieving. So, if the SLS does manage to launch first, it will hold however briefly, the title of the world's most powerful rocket. But if Starship was to launch first, the title would become unbeatable. It could be said that the remainder of NASA's prestige currently hangs in the balance. When it was envisioned in 2010, the SLS was tipped to be the world's largest and most powerful rocket, in addition to being extraordinarily cheap and quick to build due to ample use of existing components, such as engines and boosters from the Space Shuttle program. Back then, the Starship was simply a concept, as was the Falcon Heavy, the first attempt at a heavy orbital vehicle undertaken by SpaceX, and roughly comparable in its payload capacity to the SLS. Then, in 2014, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden uttered a quote that would go on to be ridiculed and memefied ever since. Let's be very honest, we don't have a commercially available heavy lift vehicle. The Falcon 9 Heavy may someday come about. It's on the drawing board right now. SLS is real. The Falcon Heavy was launched in 2018. It's now four years later, and its successor, the Starship, is almost ready. The SLS, with its countless delays and budgetary issues, has become NASA's most controversial project in recent years. Perceived as an outdated, unnecessary money sink and a symbol of everything wrong with the industry, it won't become any less outdated or unnecessary if launched earlier than the Starship, but the record-breaking flight would at least give it some value. However, if SpaceX was to launch first, its engines would blow any pretense of the SLS's importance out of the sky. However, the environmental review into SpaceX's facilities gave the SLS a fighting chance, and NASA announced that the rocket would launch on August 29th of 2022. While the FAA gave SpaceX the green light in June, various regulatory hurdles meant that the company could not hope to launch the Starship before September 1st, and even that date was just the start of the launch window granted by one of many licenses needed for the actual flight. But the SLS squandered its chances, and the August 29th launch attempt was scrubbed just 40 minutes before the liftoff due to a faulty sensor. The second attempt on September 3rd was interrupted by a liquid hydrogen leak, a far more serious issue which prompted NASA to debate if the rocket should be returned to the hangar for repairs. As these events unfolded, SpaceX was busy conducting test after test of the newly assembled Starship prototype and a booster rocket. With a new engine and a host of other improvements, the new rocket is expected to be superior to the one that had been due to fly back in 2021 had the FAA not slowed down the program, increasing the chance of success for SpaceX. However, while usually overly optimistic regarding upcoming launches, Musk has been eerily silent this time, giving just the vaguest hint at plans for an orbital flight. Meanwhile, on September 6th of 2022, NASA announced that it would attempt to fix the SLS on the launch pad without undertaking the lengthy procedure of disassembling the rocket and bringing it back to the VAB. This indicates that another launch attempt is imminent, possibly within a matter of days, if not weeks. The decision isn't simple as it requires the setup of an enclosure around the work area to make sure environmental conditions don't damage the hardware. If NASA had rolled back to the VAB, the same work would have been done, but in a more controlled work environment. 
but NASA can't test the fix at the VAB. It can only do cryogenic fuel loading at the pad, and since that's what ultimately thwarted the last launch attempt, NASA opted for the launch pad fix. Additionally, NASA teams will check for potential leaks on the other six main umbilical lines running into the SLS. The scrub forced NASA to miss this window for a launch, which ended Tuesday. The next window runs from September 19th through October 4th, but there are a couple of hurdles to making that window. The biggest is a current agreement NASA has with the Space Launch Delta 45, which runs the Eastern Range, which has only given Artemis 1 a 25-day window before the batteries on its self-destruct mechanism, called the Flight Termination System, has to be checked. They can only be checked and potentially recharged at the VAB. That constraint would force NASA to have to roll back, which would take several weeks before a return to the pad. NASA may want to do that in any case after the launch pad fixes to perform additional work that does not require the use of the cryogenic facilities available only at the pad, according to the NASA Post. A second issue is the upcoming Crew-5 mission slated to send four passengers up to the International Space Station in a SpaceX Crew Dragon atop a Falcon 9 rocket to launch from nearby launch pad 39A. NASA officials said they won't attempt any launch that would delay the Crew-5 mission, which is slated to fly no earlier than October 3rd. Managers did discuss the possibility of asking for clearance from the Eastern Range to remain at the pad beyond the 25-day limit in place, and if work on the launch pad can be completed quickly, there could be an opportunity to still aim for a launch in the front end of the September window. But, as NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said at a post-scrub press conference on Saturday, let's remember, we're not going to launch until it's right. That is standard operating procedure and will continue to be. That could mean waiting until windows that run October 17th through the 31st, November 12th to the 27th, and December 9th through the 23rd. Regardless, the odds for SLS getting off the ground first are still higher than Starship because at least for now, there is no indication that SpaceX will rush to launch the Starship. So there is little chance that Musk's venture will beat NASA, only if the SLS encounters another more serious technical failure or catastrophic launch failure will the Starship be given the upper hand. Even so, we also won't rule out the possibility that someone will get in the way of Starship. In any case, $23 billion and so-called honor can make anyone defy anything. So how do you feel about NASA's plan to fix the SLS in place at the launch pad? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. As always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.